Okay, guys, so first I'm going to start off and uh, put lip gloss on my ashy lips because y'all was not about to play with me. All right, um, yeah, I just got out the shower anyways, and my hair, like, is a mess, but I let it dry under this bonnet before I got to make this video. Anyways, um, I'm not going to glue this wig cap down because I'm just about to throw this wig on on top. You know, it's, it's not that deep. So I'm just going to get that out the way. Boom. There, there we go. So first I'm going to take my um, e.l.f. Poreless Primer. Uh, this is my favorite. It makes my uh, skin look really smooth. Especially if I want to do like the time. I put like a whole bunch. I don't know why. I didn't need that much. Um, but this is my favorite when I um, want to do like a little bit of foundation. Not a bunch. But my skin look real smooth with it. But yeah. And I uh, before y'all ask me, I already did my skin routine before this. I had it on my eyebrows. I had to get that wolf. But yeah, so I already have sunscreen, all that on, and then I started my makeup. And that is my Morphe uh setting spray mist. The misty one. I do like that one, it is better. So we're going to start with the brows. Um, this is a Morphe brush. I don't know what number. I couldn't tell you. But it's from Morphe. It was probably like $4 to $8. Not going to lie. Because it has the spoolie attached. But I usually would do this off camera. Or like really really speed it up. But on my old videos. People used to complain like. Oh I can't see what you're doing. So I was like extra focused. And they're not even going to turn out the way I wanted them to. But um, this is my good eyebrow. This is this is the good one. And the reason this was taking me so long to do it, y'all know y'all see my nails. How am I going to come back after all this time not doing my makeup and do my makeup with these nails on? These nails are so long. I like them though. They were so cute. But they were, they were super long. I had to hold my brush completely different. I couldn't wipe how I wanted to because I didn't want to get my nails dirty. And then I have this whole setup. I know y'all see the backdrop per. I have a whole bunch of them. And I have like a reflector on my table. So I'm sorry that the light keeps changing. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from my mirror. Because I had that L um, LED light on. So I'm going to try to fix that for the next time. But until then. Y'all see me struggling to do this other brow. Like I have to hold my arm completely weird. It was a mess. I need to get used to it though. Because I don't want to film without nails on. Cause it be giving crusty y'all see i don't be i don't be trying a lot while i'm filming i'm not about to come in like prim and perfect before i do my makeup that's that's defeats the whole point no i'm gonna look crusty and dusty and until my makeup is done and my wig is put on that's what it's gonna be but here i am struggling with these brows they ain't they ain't matching and they be like sisters they, they're not supposed to be what they say not sisters or something or not twin sisters baby these were second cousins okay I was I was getting irritated and I had to make them pretty dark because my wig is pretty dark you see me I was getting mad like girl what is going on because I know I ain't been filming but I have not been wearing any makeup either because who gonna see it you know and I ain't about to waste my expensive makeup sitting in the house so yeah, um, that's why they're so dark, but we're going to just move on because I was getting irritated. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to take my Juvia's Place uh, Stick Foundation. Ooh, I can't pronounce the name of this one, but it started with an N for November. So um, I don't know the name of it. Well, I don't know how to pronounce it, I should say. But I'm going to mix it with my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is usually my go-to. I know y'all going to get scared. Y'all going to see me putting this on. Um, I really didn't need this much. I was doing it the most. Because I feel like your foundation, if you take care of your skin, your foundation will look better. Less you put on. And then I'm going to, of course, setting spray. And I'll take a beauty blender and blend that in. Blend it down to the neck. And um, I don't know if I do it or not, but I do get my ears too. Um, I know that sounds weird, but I've taken a photo one time and I got my neck and I didn't do enough of it. Like I took like a side profile, <laughs> looking crazy. And I know I look a little orange, but don't worry, it's going to oxidize. It's going to work out. Okay, it's going to work out.
So, oh, and I'm filming on my phone next to me. That's why I keep looking over to the side. And it was closer and it was easier to see. And I don't have no um, I don't have no screen on this big camera that I'm using for y'all. So I can't see. This is my Too Faced um, concealer. This is in the shade Maple because this is the one I usually make. Um, I'm going to let my under eyes set and like dry down. I put way too much concealer on my chin, girl. I don't know who that was for, but not needed. And you're going to see me like try to blend it and be like, girl, what is going on? But I do usually like to use a brush instead of a beauty blender. But if I'm if I put too much, it's easier to go from brush to beauty blender and back and forth because I feel like both of them at once blends down really easy. So if you have a hard time blending your stuff, use a flat brush, a foundation brush, and also use a beauty blender. But you see the forehead, you know, blended down quickly. But look at my chin. I have way too much. I looked at it like, girl. And, you know, I would just call this hyperpigmentation because it is. But I'm going to just say I'm covering my mustache because that's what people are going to say about it anyway. But yeah, it was too intense so that's why I went in with the Beauty Blender. And my Beauty Blender is damp. But I needed it to, you know, fix that because girl. But I let that dry down and go under my eyes and make sure that I'm not, you know, I'm looking, what is it, looking up or whatever, like tilting my head down looking up because I don't want it to crease. So, it defeats the purpose, you know. But I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this technique. It is better. I like it better. You know, skin, period, you know. Yeah, I was I was pretty happy about it. Because I was like, this. it was looking really good before I even, like, put my powders on. I was, like, pretty happy about it. So I'm going to take my Fit Me, and I think it says it's medium dark. I'm not sure. This is, like, really for blush, but I needed a tiny bit. I mean, when I tell y'all I'm not baking, I'm using a tiny, like, you see me tapping it off. I'm using a tiny bit of powder because um, for me and how I do my makeup, it helped with that flashback. So, like, if I went to the club or something at night and someone wanted to take a picture which I hate it when people want to take a picture in a dark place but whatever uh, I won't get that nasty flashback white you know yellowy flashback I'm just trying to help those smile lines because when I talk and smile a lot it'll crease my makeup so I'm that's the most powder I put and it was around my mouth but I let that sit for like a second because I'm gonna take um, this highlight and contour palette and do my contour I use cream sometimes but not as much anymore I don't like having so much liquid on my face because my face is oily especially when I'm putting a lot of makeup on which to me you would think this is the everyday but maybe this is some some days you know maybe maybe once a month but it's just mostly because that's why I'm putting so much powder. I'm, I'm trying to get a lot of moisture from all the concealer and foundation out. And I just take a few colors and I, even though I have bronzer, I took that right there because I knew I let it sit for too long and now look how yellow I am. I was, I don't like it. But I do all my powders first and then I spray it down and let it all set. That's why I haven't sprayed my setting spray again yet. But um, this is from Wet n Wild. Um, I love Wet n Wild blushes. For for me, being a black girl, they come up. I used a little bit. Now I'm gonna use too much soon. I mean, it's gonna happen in a minute because I I love blush. I don't know why it's my favorite part. Okay, I did pretty good. I thought I added some more, but I guess not. But now I use all my setting spray because I used all my powders. But then I forgot. <gasps> I broke my nail, y'all. I was distraught. Anyways, um, I forgot that I didn't do my bronzer yet. So, I, I'm going to go back and do that too. But usually after I do all my powders, there it is. I, I remembered. Um, this is in um, Naughty Coco by Fenty. 
and this is the bronzer i was looking skin look skin looked good in real time oh it looks so good i was so happy but i when i say i put this everywhere i put it everywhere just so i feel like it can be more blended and for me i feel like that's what it did because this makeup looks really great in person and that's what I care about I want it to look good on camera but you can pretty much make anything look good on camera I'm not gonna lie but when I take my pictures and in person that's when I want my makeup to look the best because I want everybody to be like oh I seen your video it looks cute and then they see my like Instagram picture and they're like girl what is this and it look photoshopped because it's a mess so now I'm gonna put um I think it's called 24 hour insurance it's an um eye primer eyeshadow primer and i believe it's too faced it's like a little sample but i've been using it for a while it's, it has a lot in it i didn't i know i didn't buy it but i bought so much makeup at one time it gave me like a whole bunch of you know free samples um this is from ColourPop. i want to say i don't remember the name but it is it's something to something gold or something like that but it is from ColourPop. it's their little mini palettes i bought a lot of these they were on sale for like seven dollars like a year ago and i still barely use all of them but this was like the best deal and i have a whole bunch of different ones they're my favorite i like them a lot so i'm taking this um reddish brown shade and i didn't mean for it to be this dark because I, I took a reddish brown and then I took like a like smokier brown over it and I just wanted it to be seen but for me browns are weird like it looks one way in the palette and then once you put it on your lid because I will put it on my hand but my hand and my face my hand is like the same color honestly as my um contour so I usually wouldn't but um yeah browns with me i have to like test drive them like a few times before i know like a neutral skin brown for me is always different in different palettes because it looks one way and i'm like oh yeah that's good and i put it on my lid and i'm like oh no that's not the same but i'm just taking a black in there and making my brows even darker because i'm telling y'all when i put this wig on i feel like it still wasn't what it needed to be but i had to make them pretty dark i'm not gonna lie I, I had got it on my eyeshadow and I was so scared because I was like <laughs> messed up but it, it was gonna have to work you know I was like I'm tired of doing these eyebrows golly Woo, lord I was tired y'all I didn't want to do no more and I'm just I think I just ended up doing my uh, lashes off camera but I'm gonna go do lips now just more setting powder just just to set it so um i ended up doing this off camera because i had to watch the video but there was a little like reverse um eyeliner trick like i don't want to say cat eye but i guess it is and you do your underneath part instead and i ended up doing it and i liked how it looked a lot but i also used a liquid liner and i feel like i shouldn't have but I like this trick. If you have a hard time doing eyeliner, uh, I, I would suggest doing it this way because it's easier to fi follow the lines and you don't have to worry about your eyes twitching because you're doing the under eye. And I feel like it looks just as sharp and it looks better because you can see all of my eye makeup. I think I said that later. But uh, yeah, I, I like this trick. It was And it was a lot faster too. But um, I didn't like a dark brown. But for this, I just took a brown pencil and I did my, I used my NYX um, Butter Gloss. And I believe I took a shade called Madeline, Madeline, sorry. But, and then I just enhanced my mold that I already had right there. For some reason, I just wanted to see it. But I know my top lip is very dark. I'm going to take a beauty blender and fix it. And then I took an even lighter pink. And then the gloss, uh, the top gloss I'm going to use is um, my own that I make. I will be launching soon, but um, it's a cute little brown gloss. And I put that on top. 
And I just felt like that helped a lot. I know it's still pretty dark, but I wanted it that way. I like it. Okay, after a very stressful, still kind of not done because I didn't do any baby hairs on this way. Um, it is, I believe, 22 inches. It's synthetic. I'm pretty sure I got it from Amazon. I don't know. Um, I really rushed through it. I didn't even get to do what I really wanted to do for my hair. My kids are up all in my face. So, um, sorry, I'm talking to my phone and I'm recording on here too. But, so this is it. This is the final look. I did the little, um, trend from TikTok. Uh, it looks fine on camera. Like, I understand what it is. Maybe, um, I would like it more if I would have just did the, I don't know, like, just did the powder and not, like, any of the liner, but it's something I would have to try again because I actually like it because you can see all of my eye makeup and my dark liner isn't, like, covering anything. Which I only did like something like, but still. So yeah, this is it. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, like, uh, share, subscribe. It helps me a lot. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.